Welcome back in defending 5A state champs stepping up to take on a 7 8 powerhouse. Ramsey trying to pull it off a shocker at Legion Field. Well, after the first quarter, Ramsey striking early. Junior quarterback Cameron Keenan. A quick strike. It's Tramel Washington, and Washington is going to take this 64 yards. That has reservations for six. Touchdown, Ramsey. So can they upset Auburn? Auburn, though, tack on a field goal. So they're up seven to three at half. Ramsey is third quarter now. Omar Mabson nearly breaks this one for the Tigers, and he does. 56 yards. Scamper for the score, the final in this one. Auburn, though, comes away with the win. A close one, though, especially if you're 5A taking on a 7A school. Let's go to homecoming in Pelham. And first, let's look at this. A tie for homecoming. Anna Mann and Miranda Pierce sharing the crown. Now to some football, third quarter, Panthers up big. Chelsea's Carter Dodson hits Raymond Bridgman for 19 yards and the score. Impressive throw right here for the score and not happy for this one. It's gonna be a sack. The Hornets not gonna have this one. Carter Dodson with the sack and the final score in this one. Pelham wins 27 to seven. Shades Valley and Bessemer City going at it tonight. Tigers, they're on the prowl. Christopher Widget bounces it off a tackle. And he finds the end zone. A great touchdown right there. Coach doesn't like that one, but he likes the touchdown, even if you can't tell. Now, Wizard again, another short touchdown run. And Bessemer pulling away, but Shades Valley not backing down in this one. Looks like it was Bessemer, but Shades Valley with this final play right here for a score. And they win the game in a close one, 41 to 40. Fairfield trying to get back on the winning side of things. Off to a one and four start. Here they come out of the gate. Not going well, though, for center point. Thurman Dion Moore scrambles, going off tackle. Our photographer, he's a reporter. He does a great job here, Chip Scarborough. Taking a spill right there. But you know what? It's not how you start, Chip. It's how you finish. And he got the touchdown after that. So that's an A for effort right there, Chip Scarborough. Back in the game, back and forth. Look at this two-point play. Doesn't work out, but hey, Chip Scarborough, you win on the day. Still waiting for a score on that one in the final. After dropping their first game, the American Christian Academy Patriots have stormed back to win three of their last four. Now they get a Northridge team that comes off a struggling round and one single win on the season. Northridge rocking the clean baby blues. Jags off to a false start. Valley Christine finds Nicholas Sherman on the slant. Northridge out to a 14-0 lead in the first. ACA finally gets it going midway through the second. It's Logan Morris finding the end zone here from five yards out. Check out the reaction. They love it. It would go on a 24-0 run at the end of the half. And you got to love that. Final score, American Christian with the win, 44-36. to How about an awesome sunset up in Pennington, Cleveland? And this one is going to be a fumble to start the game. Pennington makes them pay. <laughs> Thank you, Guy and Sherry there. They're waiting for that one. And it's Josiah Cover on the reverse, puts the Tigers up 7-0 early. Student section loving it, going wild. Pennington extended it. This guy wide open, why not? Quarterback roll out, don't find a guy that's more wide open. Throws it to Aiden McPine, who's even more open for the touchdown. Cleveland would need LeBron James to suit up for this one with a win 41 to nothing. There's a peak of the band, Ramsey Band halftime show, killing it as always tonight. All right, every week we got a little more for your favorite part of the show, our plays of the week. You can vote right now. Bring out your phones. We'll have a QR code on your screen. Let's start with Hoover. They didn't win the game, and Noah Schubach throws a deep ball. And this is Jordan Woolen. And this sparked a shootout between Mountain Brook. Boat right now, that's play number one. Play number two comes from that same game. Cole Gamble rumbling, bumbling, stumbling, high stepping right towards the camera. Turns a little bit right after a defender comes his way and high steps into the end zone. That's play number two. Play number three, Ani on his fluff Bothwell, a man amongst boys in Blunt County. You can vote for this one right there. Bring your phone out on the camera for this touchdown and an extra play tonight. Play number four, Hillcrest quarterback Bryson Kimbrough finds Jamarcus Prince. A little contact doesn't matter. He keeps chugging all the way to the end zone. 
You can vote. Voting ends on Monday. Go to our app, WBTM13.com. Click down to see High School Huddle for the play of the week. So